Hey folks, Landstrider here, and welcome to the third episode of Horizons 3. I'm here with Thrall. Hey, hey, hey. I don't think we're going to be joined by Esk today. I didn't get uh, him the information quick enough so that he would be able to join us. So hopefully he'll be able to make the next one. I'll try to remember to tell him a little bit in advance. This was a little impromptu today. I kind of woke up late. Dornell caught me. I was walking through the room. He's like, hey, are you there? I'm here. Let's record. <laughs> Let's do this. So uh, you were saying that like we really need ore doubling, and yeah, we need to start working on that. I'm gonna I'm gonna start mining out pretty soon. Okay, so uh, well, we're gonna go with something we're familiar with. We're gonna do uh, thermal expansion, so we're not bumbling around like we did last episode. Now if, to do that, we're gonna need what is it? A, is it a crusher? Or we'll just we'll just look at that thermal. That thermal there is somewhere in here. We're gonna need a redstone furnace probably. Pulverizer is the thing we're really after though, right? That's the main or doubling mechanic in thermal expansion, if I recall. So, yeah, so okay, so we need some copper, some iron. Um let's, let's see what's this? Some glass, some iron, some more, some tin. Okay, I think we have most of that stuff. If I come back in here, remember that I expanded my inventory. So I have all this extra inventory space. Let me pull the ores out of here. Yeah, that'll do. And the redstone, I'll definitely need that. Uh possibly that brick of gold. And there's some more, there's some iron ingots that have already been processed. Okay, that'll help out. And I might need a little bit of a little bit of cobblestone. Grab that out of there. And also remember that I ate a thing that allowed me to get the crafting grid in my window here. So let's go ahead. We're going to have to process a bit of this uh, ore here. So it said we needed some copper ore. So let's go ahead and do that. And I have a little bit of iron. Let's hope that that's enough. Let's see. What was the other thing that we're going to need? I think it was tin. Do I have some tin in my inventory here? Yes, I do. A little bit of tin in my inventory. Good. So that should be everything we need to make the pulverizer, I hope. And some flint. Hopefully we've got some flint around. Maybe I've got it in here. A little bit of flint. No, I don't see any flint in here. I don't see any flint in there. Uh, well, there's a whole bunch more copper. Let me go ahead and toss these ores in there to kind of combine with the other ores that might be hanging around the place. And is there any more tin in here? No. So we're not cooking all the tin we got. So we're gonna need a little. We're gonna need a, a little, just a little bit of flint. Um, I suppose I could see if there's a way to craft that. Before, okay, yeah, just two gravel will work. Do we have a bit of gravel in here? Uh, not up in there not in there okay do i have any in my inventory by any, by any chance i do okay cool that's enough it's going to give us our one two pieces of flint Just unlocks new recipes yay uh, okay so let's get, let's move on we're also going to need a piston to require a bit of wood Just a little bit do that um, and a piston. Oh, it's gonna let me boot. Go. Yeah, yeah. It will let me go right into there. Cool. Oh. Okay, piston. Next up, we're gonna need to get that machine frame going. So we're gonna need some glass. Yeah, I don't think we have any glass made yet. Let's see if we have any sand in our inventory up in here. No. No sand in there that I can see, so we're going to have to get the sand. Yeah, for sure. Well, Dornell's busy leveling ground, expanding our tree farm, looks like. How's the, uh, how did the, the half slabs work out? Looks like they worked out pretty good. Yeah. Just a half slab over that water just to keep it from freezing since it's a cold biome. Uh, has allowed us to grow a bunch of wheat. That's a lot of wheat, uh, which is good. We, we just go, oh, here's some sand right here. We're not going to go hungry. No, that's good. Uh, because that'll allow us to use our abilities from the ability bottles a little bit more regularly because it's, those actually do drain your hunger pretty fast if you're not watching or if you're using a whole bunch of them. It can, it can increase your hunger drain. 
Do we ever, uh, do we ever find the actual front door? <laughs> I know it's down underground somewhere. No, we haven't yet. All right. Well, not a big deal. Uh, so let's throw that in there and get that cooking. There's our tin. And there's our copper. So now we should be able to, uh, we're going to need two copper gears. Oop. I guess I have to hit that button first. No, nope. hit that button first. Then look at the recipe. Then I can do, yeah, yeah, yeah. one, two. Uh, I mean, I hope that's not, I hope that's all the copper I needed. Um, probably, yeah, okay, we're good. So a gold and two redstone will give our redstone reception coil. So that's gonna receive some power. We're gonna have to figure out a way to generate that power here in a minute. I don't know if we wanna do the dynamo or if we maybe wanna do the calculator mods hand crank generator. So, that doesn't require any resources. Just got to have somebody there to click it. We've, we've got someone like that that can just stand around and hold a button. <laughs> sure. <laughs> not like a mining or anything. Yeah, I don't think you're going to do anything important. <laughs> All right, let's wait. Let's get our uh, last bits here. Okay. So, yeah, the, the machine frame, oh, which is going to require our tin gear. Get our crafting. I gotta remember to hit that first so that I can actually jump to the craft jump it right into the oh, tin gear first and then we can do the machine frame how close are we now i think i have everything i do there we go pulverizer and done and dusted done and dusted okay so i'm just gonna put it oh we'll put it over here for now i mean it's not like i can't move it so and then we're going to go ahead and figure out a generator. Something to put some power into this thing. No. <laughs> generator. There we go. Um, okay, there's actually a, a couple different generators listed in here. Um, and a petrified fuel generator. Looks like that has something to do with thermal expansion. Um, and uses thermal expansion parts. It must be some kind of integrated dynamics generator. G battery, okay. Uh, well, I think I can actually get that stuff. How hard is that? Uses energy from fuel items. Uh, block of crystallized mentrol. I mean, I've got a bunch of crystallized and crystallized mentrol chunks. Do I have enough of that stuff? I'm pretty sure I had some of that in here somewhere. Crystallized mentrol. I suppose I could click. That, that, I'm, I'm, I'm on that because that seems different and good. <laughs> so let's try different and good. Uh, how hard is this stuff to find? Block of crystallized mentrol. Okay, crystallized mentrol. Okay. I swear I had some of this stuff here. Let me check. No. What did I do with it if I did? That's the question. There's a... Nope. Uh, there's some mental saplings. There it is. There it is. I do have some. Not enough. I need a bunch. Um, which I believe I got from these trees. So let's maybe go grow a couple. Let's see if, how hard it is to grow these trees. Uh, do I have any bone meal? No not in there no no and no. uh maybe here aha bone meal boy it'd be nice to put in the pulverizer. rather um you know what as much as i want to make that one straight off the beginning i think that i can actually without doing anything at all make the uh make that calculator one so let's do that which is, yeah, it's a furnace with some cobblestone. Yeah, we can do that. We can absolutely do that. So some cobblestone. No, make a furnace. Wrap it with cobblestone. Gives us a power cube. Um, this is using a bunch of recipes. I don't know if it does anything by itself. Probably does. Oh, yeah, yeah, holds power. <laughs> Who would have figured? It's, it's, it's the battery. The, probably the most basic battery for calculator. I was, I'm, I'm guessing. So, but we want to we want to go one step further and turn that into a hand crank generator. Can we do that? Yes. Easy as that. Easy peasy. Go hand crank generator. Zero RF crank 
Cranked false. How do we crank it? Probably need to have a crank to crank it. There it is, right there. Crank, handle crank. Yep. I would have figured just a bunch of sticks. So, how's Thornell been lately? Yeah, I've been okay. Good. Good to hear. Can't complain. No. Sure, you can. Sometimes it even helps. Uh, probably have to put it on the top. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do it like that. Crank on the top. It'll never help. I'm just gonna be happy. <laughs> Don't worry, be happy. There you go. Gotta do something while I'm cranking this thing. <laughs> Alright, so did I put some power in here? Yeah, a little, little tiny bit. Little tiny bit. <laughs> okay, that's gonna be painfully slow to get anything done, but it's gonna allow us to value double a couple of those valuable resources that we are we are may not be able to find as easily as other ones. All right, so now that that's done, <laughs> we have a power source and a uh, and a pulverizer here. Yeah, it's even you know warming up a little bit. Let's uh, let's throw something in there that's vital to well, probably some iron. We'll start off with some iron. We need lots of iron for things. Throw that in there, and you can see it's not even going to go anywhere because it doesn't have enough to. Pr oh, it, it is trying to process. It. It's trying, it's like it's really slow. Now we I probably could make another power cube and just you know put it beside this thing to kind of store up some power. But the internal power storage on this is probably more than enough for oh yeah, there we go. We can see that there's actually some progress happening there. I do believe these machines slow down as they get lower on power. So like if you have them like fully powered, they're actually faster. That that might be wrong. So you guys can correct me down in the comments if I'm I'm totally talking out my butthole there. But I thought that that was a thing at one point. Maybe Dornell will confirm or deny. Oh, you know what I I, I made this thing for? Not so much the iron as I wanted to throw my bone in there so I could go use it on the mental saplings. Let me. Let me. Uh, the thermal expansion machines actually go slower as they get lower in power. They do slow down, but they don't. It's not. Okay, so I wasn't completely talking out my rear. All right. Well, we'll let this first piece of iron complete because I don't want to waste that work, and then I'll switch switch it out for the bone as soon as I get that first iron dust. So I'd like to get something that was a little less um, involved. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't want to have to sit here and crank this thing all the time. There's the rest of our class. I'm just going to throw that in there for now. Yeah, it's starting to do the bone. Well, that's kind of cool. Could see there for a second how it was holding the RF. It has its own tiny little internal storage. But yeah, I don't really don't think that matters with the amount of storage that the machine itself has, so. Alright, can we can we can we get just a little bit of bone meal here? I want the maximum bone meal for my bone. I don't, I don't really like hunting skeletons. Not really not really the funnest thing to do, especially if you don't have a shield. And uh, I haven't made one yet. Probably should. Probably should. Just keep on cranking. Just keep cranking. Just keep cranking. Hey, I'm a crank anchor. <laughs> no uh, yeah. Yeah, no comment on that one. Okay, let's come over here and plant a mentral tree or whatever it is. What is this thing? Get, get, grow. No, come on, grow. Hey, there we go. Boom, done. Okay, cool. Um, two, two bone meal. That wasn't bad. Wasn't, it didn't go on, it was not one of those ones that just automatically grows on the first try, but that's okay. I'm okay with that. 
Let's get some crystallized menthol out of this, hopefully. Not sure if that comes from the leaves or or what, or what can we do with these logs that is special. I know this has something to do with some kind of magic. So eventually I will probably be wanting to utilize these for some cool stuff, whatever cool stuff I can do with them. Oh yeah, look at all this stuff dropping. All over the place. And we're getting those menstrual berries too, which is a food source. So out of that first tree, I've got 12. No wait, did I have them in my inventory already? I think I did, so I, don't know, I think I only actually got two. So let's uh, here we go grow another one. I want to get that generator going so we can have something that we don't have to crank. I'm pretty sure Dornell will appreciate that. But it looks like the crystallized menstrual chunk actually comes from the logs. Grow. Grow. It's almost like it takes exactly two. So far, out of three saplings, each one has taken exactly two bone meal to get to grow. That looks about perfect because my axe is about to break and I don't need any more stone axe. Let's get up in here see if we can put this generator together. Now where to go? It was this one right here we want, which is an energy ballast. Red, bunch of redstone, of course, bunch of redstone. We're not exactly um, swimming in the redstone just yet, so at this point, this is kind of expensive. Okay, and now we need one of these. And combine those two together, we're gonna get a generator. All right, just gonna slap that up there. Now we should be able to just throw things in there that burn. There we go, it's burning. And it's, wow, it's generating a decent amount of power. Powering that sucker right up, look at that. Look at that. Don't gotta crank it no more. And that looks like it just pretty much take any kind of burnable thing. Uh, pretty similar to a, uh, a Starling generator. All right, let's put that away. I've got uh, a ridiculous amount of menstrual berries now. I want to, take, I've got something to eat for a bit <laughs> anyway. I'm gonna put the extra ones in there, I suppose. And I, I bet there's a bunch of really other cool things we could do with that, but, uh, and a bunch of menstrual wood. Hopefully we can use that in our crafting. If nothing else, we can turn it into charcoal, use it to power the generator. So um, I suppose next up in order to save coal and charcoal would be to go ahead and make the redstone furnace or some kind of powered furnace. Some kind of powered furnace. Let's see what have we got. Reinforced furnace, normal power cube. So I'm, I'm trying to get into the calculator a little bit more than the spirit furnace. That's probably not something we can do anytime, or right now anyway. A resourceful furnace, I'm not sure what that. I'm guessing that that's some kind of, um, I don't know. We'll have to figure it out when we get there. Uh, we could do the basic redstone furnace. Well, actually it takes bricks, so I don't want to do that. Well, look at this one, this one looks really cheap. I mean, what do we got? Reinforced stone, how's that? You combine oak with cobblestone. Essentially cobblestone and a log gives you four. So that's pretty cheap. And then uh, the power cube, we already done one of those. Yeah, that, that's actually, that's extremely easy. Let's, um, let's do that. So do the furnace with cobblestone around it gets us a power cube. We might actually, we actually want two of those. 
because we may want to use a power cube to store a little bit of power. Why not? Uh, and then now the reinforced stone, so we just uh, grab any log. Hopefully the metro wood log will work. Let's find out. That plus some cobblestone gives us our reinforced stone. Easy peasy. Come surround that. There we go. We've got our furnace. It, or something. It says furnace. Let's, let's find out. Furnace. Oh, wait. Hold on. I'm going to do... Um, kind of want to do something like yeah let's see this this is our empty so let's pick that up i want to use this power cube we'll put the power cube there put the furnace there or put the generator there put the furnace there beside the power cube so that should store a little bit of the power oh wow we got some good bone, good amount of bone meal out of that um let's go ahead throw a couple of these logs in here just to kind of just to give it a kick see if this is working that does seem to be storing some power but it doesn't seem to be passing it on hmm hmm okay I'm not sure why that doesn't pass the power on to the next thing Well, you guys probably probably tell me, probably tell me whenever uh, in the comments why that didn't work. <laughs> hey, come here, generator. I need you. So for now, we'll just throw the generator right there, and there we go. And then if I put what the, this is normal furnace, right? Okay. Well, this is the one sucking up the power. So let's uh, let's pull that out. It's getting power now, at least. It doesn't seem like it wants to go to the side until the bottom's full, maybe? Also, could we, like, just do that? Stored energy? It's not going in. No, I guess not. It's nice that it kept the energy after I picked it. What if I put it down there? Side it. Nope. Nothing's happening. Resume. Current. Pause. Remove circuits. I don't think we have any circuits in it. Okay, that must be for upgrades, I'm guessing. We can upgrade it later. All right, let, let's, let's give this thing enough power to actually fill this up, and then hopefully we're going to start filling this one up. Uh, or is it possible that maybe it only accepts power from the top? I suppose that's a possibility. Let's, uh, let's try sticking this just up on the top. See if it makes a difference. All right, I'm done experimenting with that. <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> Somebody will tell me in the comments what I'm doing wrong at a later date. There we go. We got a ton of bone mail now. So anytime I want to grow some trees, we can. Now I'm going to hold off putting this iron on. I want this to get all the way full so I can see if once that's full, if this, yes, if this will start filling up. Yes, it will. And yes, it will. So if I put that in there now, is it going to say it's going to, yes, it's going to cook it. I should get some charcoal over here. And make sure this is a normal furnace. Like, yeah, yeah, I get the normal, the normal output there. So then I throw the charcoal in there. Yeah, there we go. And there we go. We are all good. Go ahead and get a, get a second one in there. So we make sure that we have full power whenever we're ready for it, whenever we need it. And it's nighttime again, so let's sleep. Darnell must be underground. He didn't notice. Notice what? That it's nighttime. Oh, I'm, I'm in a mine. He's, he's mining. Okay, let's put some of the stuff away that we don't need. Actually, don't we have like places for sand and dirt? There's dirt. There's sand. Oh, I didn't need to go dig sand. I had it right there. Um, I hear lava. You hear lava? Okay. Cool. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna pull that out of there. Does this thing go faster as it gets more more energy in it too? It does does kind of look that way? I'm not sure. Um, 
I'd like to now move circuits. Circuits. I wonder if calculator has a pulverizer too. Pulverizer now, or a crusher. Crusher, there's a crusher, industrial foregoing. I wonder what calculator's mod or uh, machine is for ore doubling. Calculator. Anything else? All kinds of cool stuff here. We're definitely going to get into this mod. Um, an atomic manipulator. It does some really interesting things and it has a, a, a very different crafting mechanic. I mean, it calculates. <laughs> Calculate things into existence, I guess. Let's pull that out. Let's keep our power going. So now that that is, I mean, this has no interface, so I'm guessing that it doesn't store any power. It doesn't show um, that it's storing any power. We could throw that back up there just to fill it up. To, to absorb the excess. Well, it looks like it might be prioritizing the top and bottom over the sides. That's probably all right. I'll finish this last piece here, here, and then we'll pull that out so I can do some iron. That in there. And the wood chest. And yep, yep, there we go. We got some iron going. And then let's grab our iron ore. Toss that in there. It'd be really nice to just kind of send that straight into the uh into the into this furnace if I could. So how would I do that? It would be like a, a item duct or something. How many things do we have that move things around? Item duct. Uh, DCT duct. There we go. Have item ducts. There we go. Item duct. Oh, this is glass and tin. Glass and tin. I actually have two pieces of tin left and some glass ready to go. Let's uh, let's see if we can do that. Hmm. But I, did I do it wrong? What? 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 What am I missing here? Maybe I'm the wrong kind of glass. Item duct. Hardened glass. Oh, how's that go? Which requires an induction smelter. Okay, so well, that means we need an induction smelter in order to be able to do some of the specialized stuff. Or um, maybe maybe that's what we need to do, do next. And it it is going to allow us to do a lot of the alloys and stuff. Which is going to require invar, invar. How do we get invar? Invar blend. We're going to have to pulverize some iron and some nickel. Okay, we've got iron being pulverized right now. Do we have some nickel? We do. All right, pull that out. Toss that in. Get us the nickel we need for our Invar blend. Yay. Okay, let's cook that up. Get that cooking. Uh, get that back to the iron. Don't think we need nickel by itself very much, so we'll just go ahead and use the rest of that to make some more Invar blend. Invar is pretty decent stuff. Um, for most, for those of you who don't know what Invar is, it's actually just stainless steel. You add nickel to iron, you get some stainless steel. Now, well, with a little bit of carbon mixed in the in the mix. A little bit tougher and highly resistant to corrosion. Okay, so let's look at this. We're gonna need 
uh, two invar gears. Oh yeah, yeah. Good thing I I had that made all that because I don't know if we, I still don't know. I don't think we're gonna have enough. Let's see ahead. No, no. We should have just enough to put this together with that with those couple pieces that I that I that we had. So that's that's good. Looks like the pulverizer uses a little between the pulverizer and the furnace. We're using a little more energy than this is putting out. And that is, yeah, that's not full yet. So, yeah, we're definitely using more energy than the generators putting out at the moment. But as soon as these machines get done with their work, they'll fill back up. Now, I don't know if that'll shut off or if it'll just keep burning power until until it runs out of fuel. Hard hard to say. Well, it's actually not that hard to say. I just got to wait to see what happens. And then I'll be able to say. All right, let's get our rest of our invar. And make our two invar gears. Invar gears. Oh, yeah. yeah new recipes. Yay. Um, another, but I need another machine frame. Was more tin? Do we have more tin in here? I believe we run into a problem. Don't have enough tin. How's that mine going, buddy? Where you at? Right, over that way. I think there's some tin over here. I just haven't got to it yet. Okay, we'll come see if I can spot it, find you. Now well, let's see. This is probably the area I would expect to find some tin, like uh, Y level. Yeah, fifty. Fifty would be good. Let's let's go this way. Go over till we find the ocean. Let's see if we spot some tin. Uh, you know, maybe not. Maybe we'll just go look in the other hole. Because I could swear that there was a... Uh, I need to find is like a surface ravine. Would be a great place to spot some tin. Oh, it's nighttime outside. Mobs after me. Lots of mobs out here. Let's go, uh... Let's go sleep that off so we can... Walk around in relative safety. But uh, I think we are actually going to have to call it for just a little bit because I need to get over and stream some KSP with Twitchy. So uh, if you haven't been checking that out, uh, this is probably going to come out way in the future, but we're going to be doing, going streams with Twitchy, with Twitchy right now. So I'll be back in a little bit, buddy, if you want to stick around or you want to come hang out in the stream with us. We appreciate it. So, back in a few.